What's up, YouTube? So this is Ralph Eats, Ralph Drinks, and my guest host is Mike. Mike. So we're gonna do a quick bourbon review on uh, Bullet Wood Woodford uh, Wild Turkey, the original, not the 101. Um, some new Oregon one, Oregon Spirit, and Evan Williams, Jim Beam, and Stone Hammer. So, which one do you want to try first? So we're gonna first we're gonna try like a little bit of away with meat, and then we'll try a little bit on the rocks, the same one. And when you try your bourbon, it is okay for a whiskey aficionado to go ahead and have a have an ice in it that is allowable, just so you know. Also, uh, what makes a bourbon is uh, five characteristics, which I'll list right here in a little bit. So, um, or I'll talk about it at the end. But which one do you want to try first? Or you uh, want to say something we'll, else? We'll try regular Jim Beam first. Jim Beam. Just a little bit, just so we could taste it. If you want to know the more, of course. I'm not a big Jim Beam, Beam type of guy, so. But I've been drinking Jim Beam for 40 years, so. <sighs> Finishes smooth, it's got a little up front. See that? <laughs> that up front is just. <sighs> it's just a little too much for me. Alright, so now we're gonna try it on the rocks. Put the rocks in there. It was pretty smooth. I just don't like that. The harsh taste of Jim Beam. It's a little harsh for me. It doesn't smell like nothing with the ice in it. The ice tends to um, take a bit of the edge off. It mellows it out. Now ne next time that we're gonna do this, we're gonna do some premium bourbons and we will do Jim Beam Black. And this one, we'll probably do a, a one by itself on Eagle Rare. Probably didn't even notice that I got the box here. All right, so that was actually pretty good. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a Jim Beam fan, but with the ice, it was not bad. All right, so what do you want to try next? Um, what's this over here? I just want to go down the line. Yeah. This is the bullet. Now to me it it hits fully. It hits at the beginning and it hits all the way through. To be quite honest, I haven't been a bullet fan. Wow, that's pretty strong though. That's yeah, that that's a pretty good hit, but I like it better than Jim Beam. Well, like I said, it's a constant hit. Hmm. So now we're going to try it on the rocks. And again, it flattened it out a bit, but it's, yeah. it still hits you hard. Yeah. It's... Wow. <clears throat> Alright, so now we'll do a little head of backwards. This is the Wood Woodford. The Woodford and Bullet are a couple of the newer, uh, more trendy kind of bourbons. Now that one goes, to me, it hits very easy up front, but it has a long taste after. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, it was, at first I was like, oh, smooth, and then bam, I got that nasty taste. But it, it keeps going. Yeah, now I found this one. Wow. 
Now on the rocks. Same thing, it has a long aftertaste. That kind of, honestly, that kind of tastes like uh, American whiskey to me right there. Yeah, it didn't, qu didn't quite have the sweetness of bourbon. Mm -hmm. Which, I like the sweetness. And if... Now this wild turkey that's been sitting in this bar for who knows how long. And just remember, bourbon is true American whiskey. That is one of the rules. It has to be produced in America, <coughs> in the U.S. This is a. This is not the 101. This is a 90, 80, 86.8 proof. Now I don't know if it's because of the age or what, but this is just raspy. That went down pretty smooth, dude. Really? Yeah. To me, it went down pretty smooth. How long have you had it back there? Yeah, it came from my dad. Really? So this is old, because I'm... But whiskey just gets better with age, so... I've never seen this kind of before, ever. Just a regular wild turkey. I was like, oh, sorry, I opened it. And it was kind of like, it was like, it was kind of like halfway, it's like, it was a new bottle, but it was very like, it evaporated and so. All right, here it goes on the rocks. And that flattened it out. Mm. Yeah, I could drink that. Maybe not the 101, but. A little bit of water. All right, now we're going to skip the Oregon and go to Evan Williams. Which Evan Williams is this, the regular? Yeah, just the regular. Okay. Nothing special, just regular shea bourbon. Wow. Smooth. Yeah, pretty smooth. Flattens, flattens well out. We're gonna get drunk off of these. I was really expecting just to do four or five, but he had this. I just came up with a couple more. And this was not all. It was gonna be a part two. Yeah, that, that one's not bad. Yeah, so far... It's not sweet. So far, everything that I've had, this is the favorite so far. And surprisingly, not bad. Compared to these. Yes. Now, just, just remember that a good bourbon you want to have with water on the rocks or straight up. It's not something to be... Straight up, so neat. Neat. All right, so there's a new one from Morgan, and we're back. So yeah, so, so this is uh, one from Morgan. So the thing is that like, most of the bourbon places are in Kentucky, but you don't have to necessarily be from Kentucky to be bourbon. Just have to have the five steps. That one hits up front. Oh, this one! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> what is that? But it's not <laughs> offensive, but it's strong. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Uh, I'll be putting the, the proofs on here. Is that 47%? Can you see? Yeah, which would be 92 proof. Just remember that with your proof, half of it, half of that is the alcohol content. Don't get me wrong, guys. All these have been going down pretty smooth. It's just the fact that it hits you hard with the liquor because they're all over. Some of them are in their 90 proof. Close to it. All right, let's try it on the rocks. 
This is not my favorite. No. Okay. Now we're gonna try something I got for Christmas. I always get a bottle for my dad for Christmas and I try something different. So we're getting this one and we're gonna see what Ralph eats, thinks of it. But I happen to think it's one of the favorite bourbons I've had in a long time. All right, let's see. It's got a little, little hump, but nothing major. That's pretty good. It doesn't bite you hard. 90 proof. And I'll, I'll be quite honest that more than 90 proof to me tends to ruin it. And I've had single barrel jack. I think I like can eat her better. Yeah. Neat. I think the water ruins it. I uh, I like it. It's a toss up between the Evan Williams and that one. I think for honest, every day probably the Evan Williams. But this surprised me. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's definitely one too. To go either way. This is this surprised me. This is definitely three. This is wow. I'm a Jack Daniels guy and I like it sweet. I like I like sweet and I like mellow. And Jack Daniels you can drink it all day, every day. But Jack Daniels is not a bourbon. It's a bourbon plus one. It has an extra step where it's uh, filtered through charcoal. So that doesn't make it a bourbon. Right. But it's a Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee whiskey. But next time that I'm lucky enough to guest on Ralph's channel, Part two. We'll be, we will be doing some premium bourbons, including Jim Beam Black, which is my personal favorite. Okay. All right, guys, there you go. So which one is your favorite? The Evan Williams for every day. Uh, and... My stone hammer uh, for kicking back and there you just go, watching. guys. Evan Williams stone hammer one two, Jim Beam three. We're gonna have a, a round two of a little bit different bourbons, and we'll see who goes to the championship round. All right, thanks for watching. We're all feet, we're all drinks, and have a good night. <laughs>